Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake On Exotics. It's still every day. We can go, go all through the boxes. What wash is there waiting to go? Well, first we're gonna find out. Oh, look at that. It says, look what it says. Draw your straw, your yes, yes, yes. That means that's frozen. So we've got two boxes of live food. And we got a box of goodies to go through and a bag. So let's jump in and see what we got in the frozen. Is it frozen nice and solid? Let's see what we got then. Hopefully, we're back to being nice and frozen and ready to go. That's going to be best case scenario. Last thing I want to do is ring and moan at them again. I don't like moaning. Yes. Solid as a rock. Sweet. Look at that. Look at Oh, he's popping out. He's popping out. Get the kid in the bag. Lovely, lovely, lovely. How good is that, man? And there's nothing, nothing in there. There's only a little, one little bag. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Let's put them in the fridge, Joe, and crack on with the rest of the boxes. I haven't completely done all the live food yet. I'm still putting it on the shelf, but I've got customers in. They want to see some new hides that I've got in this box down here. So I'm going to show them to you because if they buy them, then I can't show them to you. So we're going to try and do it very quickly. Okay, so we're going to dive in. Hopefully they're in there. And we should be really, really good. Because these are new ones they've just come out with that if, I, if I'm right. I've never seen them before, so. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so that, that, didn't, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. So we've got these ones. These are our normal little hides. What one are they? So we've got a bunch of them. Um, we've got the calcium. We've got our hot squads. Cooked fish bone. And I believe the new one's in here. So this should be good. This is what we want to have a look at. Okay, oh yes it is, yes it is. Oh, it's lovely. Now that's a good size that is as well. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Oh, look how cool that is. Nice root system cave. Now that is cool. That is really nice. Let's see if I can get some different sizes in. Yeah, that is lovely. Forever home time. Now where is she? She's in the big height. There she is. So it's a good our lovely. Oh, temper albino leopard gecko. Hello, my, oh you got a big belly. You've been eating all the locusts, have you? Absolutely beautiful. She's get to go to a forever home. Oh, I didn't take the lid off. I didn't take the lid off. There we go, my lovely. There we go. In we go. Let's have a little double check what sex you are. Oh, possibly a boy. Oh. Can be a bit of a pain in the bum to do when they're little. But uh, they can you, you can usually see the start of testes and uh, a slightly deeper V at the top of their vent. So there we go. Off we go to forever home. So I've had to do some of the bits and bobs and my phone's dying so I've got you on charge so I can't really move you very much. But what we had left in the box, we had some red bulbs, loads and loads of 100 watt red bulbs so I'm really happy about that, we got them back in stock. Oh they've sent me the wrong ones. They've sent me bayonets instead of the other ones, oh that's wrong. Uh, no, 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 I'm going to have to ring them, oh no. And last but not least in the bag we have two bags of tortoise life oh yeah lovely job that's done let's feed some of the animals so uh, we've got some fruit flies for the dart frog so we can see how we're going to dump a load in there and give them a right, right good feed today let's see how we get on hey buddy so we're going to have to do this open up the tube oh there we go it's just open And then, tap, 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 tap. He's done a runner, he's done a runner, but look at that, wah. Loads of flies for you, buddy. Okay, we're gonna shut that side, because it's tough to climb up. 
I'm gonna wait for a sec until he comes out to have some. I've never seen a frog that cares so little about food. He is literally surrounded by it. They're on the ramp. He's just not bothered. Not bothered inside. I know I do give him a good feed every time. So it's not like he's hungry, hungry for it, but you'd think he'd still go a bit mad when you put the fruit flies in, but he's just sitting there letting them go around. The roof's covered. Oh! He spotted him. I think he's just not paying attention. I fully weren't bothered. Ah. He's just a couple of bulb shorts of a chandelier. That's what he is. Ah, oh, now he's spotted some. He's on the roll now, look. There we go. I thought he was, didn't care. He just a bit slow to start. That's what it is. Oh, he got one. Oh, another one. Look at his tongue going. Oh, missed. Oh, missed. And again. Oh, knocked it off. Oh, missed. Oh, knocked it off. He's trying his best, trying his best. Look at him in the river, man. How cool is that? In the middle of the flow. So yeah, you'd see him in the wild, just chilling in the flow of the river. Very cool. I was gonna film a little bit more feeding, but Superfly male, uh, female, sorry, has started a shed last night, but it's had a bad shed. So you can see it's all round here. But if you look under there, it's on her head. And there's bits and bobs stuck, so we're gonna have to. Uh, seems nice and soft still, so we're just gonna take her out, give her a hand, and get it all off. So I think that's that's what we're gonna do instead. Still so gonna do more feeding, but uh, I might not be able to record it all for you because we're gonna spend a bit more time doing this. So I don't wanna lose all the time in the video. Uh, I do need to have a chat to you as well because I'm gonna change visual schedules because I need to spend more time on the shop and stuff like that, and it gives me more time to make better videos for you as well. So we'll talk about that later. Okay, so shedding time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna start with his head because I want him to show him that I'm not doing anything to hurt him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find big loosey bits and just rub them. I'm not pulling or anything at the moment. I'm just trying to get it to go as it should in nice big sheets. So I'm just gonna nice, and it feels more of like a stroke more than anything, but I can see, you can see where the lines are of it, of where it's starting and where it's stopping. So he's managed to get a lot of the belly off, but he's struggled on his back, so you can see. I'm just using my thumb just to roll down a nice edge for us. And then that, once you've got the edge, You've got, you've got a bit more control and you can get nice big bits to come off. I don't want him to knock the camera really. But you can see his back, still got it on, but his belly is nice and yellow. Well, his sides are, his belly is white. So uh, I'm just gonna carry on. The moisture on your hands is really good for this as well. So the more you do it, you end up getting slightly sweaty hands from his warmth and just moving your hands a lot. I'll stop looking at the phone. Okay, so we're back. So I'm trying to get this nice big bit off. So once you've got some nice edges, you can really get it to come off quite quickly. Because once you've got the edges, you can just pull the middle. Really easy. So I'll get the edges again. So we don't have any, because the edges are where it's gonna rip. If, you have, if, you, if the edge isn't fully off, that's where it's gonna give you a point where it could rip. So we, we get all the edges up, Nice and steady. And then the middle will just pull off. So, you see I've got the edges up on those bits. Middle just pulls off them. I don't wanna to go too far, because I'm running out of edges. Yeah, I've run out of edges on this side now. Oh, she's on under the camera. Come on, off, off the camera. Come on, darling. You can see. Look how big that is. Nice big chunks. If there was any that was really stuck, we would uh, add shedding aid, or the other way, we would just give her a bath, basically. And what that does, that re-moisturizes the skin, gives it a bit more structural integrity, so when we are pulling on it, it doesn't really rip. It stays as one unit and comes off a lot easier. 
just that. Look at that. Nice big strip. Just comes straight off. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to check the rest of her bum. Tip of her tail. That bit's all done. That looks sweet. Okay, so let's carry on our way up. Oh. Only looks like the head's left. Well, that's handy, isn't it? Eh? That's handy. Looking good, looking good. Okay, now we've got to do the head. Okay, this is going to be fun. Right, let me put me at level. There you go. So the head's going to be the worst bit for her. She's not going to like it. And I'm not sure if she's got her eye caps off yet or not. Since how big this piece is on the head. So, we'll see if we can. Oh, what you opening your mouth for? Hey? Eh? No need for that. Okay, I've just showed her what I was going to do. As soon as I do this, she's going to wrap her body around and flick it around. So, if I wrap it around me, what I don't want to do. As soon as I touch the head, she's going to flinch and it's going to rip. like it at all. Uh, I'm trying to look to see where it goes. Oh, okay. She's got the nose and eye caps off herself. It's just a forehead. So he's not going to like it. Okay, we got him. I'm okay. The other bit that makes it awkward on the head is their smaller scales, a lot smaller. So you can see I'm just holding the head nicely, finger and thumb, I'm not squeezing very hard, you can see there's plenty of room in there, nice and steady, okay, now is that showing me an eye cap, I think it is, I think there's an eye cap stuck on that one side. Hey baby, hey, it's okay. You're okay, nice and steady. Steady, Eddie. Okay, come back down, come back down, come back down. Oh, you're foaming at the mouth, we're not doing that much. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, that side's come off a lot easier because that one's already got the eye cap off that side. Okay, darling, you're okay. That left a tiny, that's left a tiny bit there. Let's see if I can get the tweezers. So I'm going to hold her head again. She lets me. Okay. So there's just a tiny bit on the nose here that doesn't come off. Ah, there we go, I've got it going. Come on, darling. Let me show you to the camera. Okay, so... Just there on her nose. Just like that. There we go. But look how nice she's been, eh? She's not really being aggressive or anything like that. She's just showing me she doesn't like her head being messed with, which is pretty normal. Okay, okay, okay. Now your nose is very sensitive. Come on, stay down. Okay, that's coming. Nice and steady. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. I'm trying to help my lovely. Come on, stop it, stop it, stop it. Calm down. Will you please just let me do my job? Okay, eye caps come off, boom, eye cap just come off. 
Please, darling, please, please let me finish. I know it's been a lot, I know. I've got your eye cap, this is the easy bit now. Here we go, see? Come on, let me do it. Please, darling. Oh, just pulled the last bit off. Boom! So there we go, there's the eye cap we needed. Oh, so I believe that's all the shed off now. Yep, 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 yep. Lovely. Shed gone. So there you go. That's the bit we've got off her back. That was the top of the head. And there's that eye cap. Pops straight out. Absolutely brilliant. So, new visuals, visual video schedule. Basically, since Morgan left, and I can't really afford to employ anybody else, um, doing a video every day, and doing all the jobs in the shop, it's getting a lot for me. Um, so what I've decided to do is do almost virtually every other day. So you're gonna get Monday videos, Thursday videos, uh, and then probably Saturday, Sunday videos. Uh, and then obviously Monday you won't have one and we're back on the normal schedule. That gives me time to spend more time at home, not doing editing and videos. So that means every other day I don't have to edit a video and I can spend time with Noah and B and Laura. Um, and that means in the shops, I've got more time to do more things in the shop. I can plan more videos, more detailed videos. I've got extra time to do editing if I need it. So I think that's the best for the, for the, for the time being. I, you know me, I do like doing a video every day. So you'll most certainly get some shorts and stuff like that. I want to try and do some more of them. Um, so you'll maybe you'll get shorts throughout the week and stuff like that as well. Uh, but I think it's going to be better for the shop and for the YouTube for me to spend a little bit more time on the videos and I can spend a little bit more time on the shops. So it's better videos for you and I can improve the shop and carry on and keep the shop going really well. Um, if I had enough money, I would employ somebody. But as you know, with the climate we're in at the moment, the everything's got, oh, going up in price and everyone's reducing how much they're spending. So, of course, that we, that's, we're seeing that in the shop as well. Um, so we're gonna do more time in the shop, more time, less time doing the videos, but we're gonna get better quality videos because I have more time to do them and I can actually spend a day planning a video instead of coming in every day and making up a video what we're gonna do that day. So that's the plan. I hope you're not annoyed with me or anything like that. If anyone has any comments or any ideas or stuff I can do, put it all in the comments because uh, I'm always open for options and opinions and uh, different ideas. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm probably going to start it in the next couple of days. So we'll see how we get on. So let's crack on and do a little bit more. Well, we did have a plan for the day. The end anyway. Got out the windy, as always. Two more rescued corns. Look at the lunch boxes. So my mate rang me, he's had them dumped on him. Um, and I've said, mate, just bring them down and we'll sort them out. So, I don't know. So we've got, I'm going to have to set one tank up and the other one's going to have to go where we had the pinstripe. Um, <coughs> so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here's the first one. He looks good. Whoop. Hey, buddy. Are you a little bit cold? Oh. I mean, you stink of fags. <laughs> yeah, looks like, oh, that looks nasty. It's an old scar. Um, eyes look good. Yeah, they look, it looks okay to me. So you get to go up here, buddy. So we've gone for court bark hides. We get him settled in. And then see if he'll have a feed for us. Yeah, that's that wound. Well, not a wound, a scar. Quite goes right round him. He's almost cutting half. Blimey now, mate. That was a good one. Yeah, it starts there and goes all the way around the other side from what I could see. Oh, so there's the one in. Yeah, a little bit skinny, look, you can see. 
that crease. Not good. I'm getting fastened up though, it's no problem. The only problem is it's like quarter to, um, quarter to six. So we've got 15 minutes to get the tank set up and get the snake in. Just finished setting it up. I've just mocked up a little basic setup really. Oh, so hopefully, there we go. Ooh, hello. You're very pretty, you are. Let's have a little look at you. Yep, it's looking good. Looking good. Yep, fantastic. I'm looking like in the looks of you, darling. Let's put you down into your tank. So once we have a bit more time, we can get some substrate in for her and stuff like that. And then uh, she'll be settled in there once she's ready. So she's got a cold end hide, hot end hide. I've got to top the water boiler. A little bit of apparatus for us, but we can do a bit more tomorrow once we have a bit more time to actually spend some time working with her. But I'll get some water in there, and that's us done. There we go. I haven't even filled it all the way up, and she's drinking. I only put a little splash in there. I've come back to the rest, and I don't want to disturb her now. For that, having her drink. Well, there you go, everybody. I hope you joined today's video. Crazy stuff going on. I can never plan anything, it never goes my way. Whoop. So there we go. Rescues, feedings, unboxings, and everything today. Oh, and a change of schedule. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, it should be on there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to play, it's up there. If you want to support us, there's links in the description below. Apart from that, see you in the future. Bye.